What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on also to get notified of all this content as and when it drops. So now let's get into this one. So as you will know by now, Anthony Joshua is boxing Francis Ngannou. It's going to be on, I believe, March the 8th, Saudi Arabia. His Excellency, Turkey Al Sheikh, has done it again. He's got the bag and, you know... Whenever you got the bag, the fighters are going to come running. Um, and um, yeah, so this video, I'm not even talking about that fight, but <coughs> excuse me, I'm talking about another fight, which is, um, I've heard differing uh, stories on this, to be fair. Um, first story is that um, Deontay Wilder and Zilly Zhang, they're going to be fighting each other on the undercard of Nganu versus Joshua, Joshua versus Nganu. So that's one rumor I've heard that they're going to be fighting each other. Um, that's um, something that could is 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 definitely um, one that I would massively favor Zili Zhang to win, going on last performances. But then it's one where Deontay Wilder can't perform any worse, and if he does get his mojo back, if he does somehow pull out a, a decent performance, then that puts Deontay Wilder right back in the title picture. So it's one of those where one guy, you know, Deontay would be the massive underdog in that fight, but it's also a huge opportunity for Wilder to sort of, um, you know, rescue his reputation. Um, to You know, if he can come back from such a bad loss against Joseph Parker, where... He didn't even win a single round. And then he can come against a big uh, Chinese Southpaw who um, a lot of people might not want to fight, who a lot of people are, you know, respecting highly because, um, you know, many feel that he beat Filip Hergovic. And um, we saw the, the two beatings he, he put on to Joe the Juggernaut Joyce, who Joe Joyce was highly touted after his victory over Daniel Dubois and stuff. So Zach Zhang's got some good fights on his on his record and he's very highly touted. He's he's got a lot of momentum behind him. A lot of people rate him and he'll be the big favourite. So for um Deontay Wilder, um while he would be the big underdog, it's a massive opportunity for, for redemption for him to for him to sort of save face and him to sort of put himself back in in the um title picture back in the argument back amongst the best heavyweights um so yeah that's that that's one i've heard but also i've heard that it could just be a case of um Deontay Wilder and Gilles Zhang will be um on the card but not against each other they'll be on the card um in separate fights against other guys and whatnot so yeah either one of these things could be true um, I, for one, would much prefer to, as much as it's kind of a fight out of left field, because it's like you you would think um, that Deontay Wilder would want to get back at Joseph Parker, because Joseph Parker's the you know the guy that just beat him um, last month in December. So you would think that he may want to get that fight back, and you would think that well. Zhili Zhang would be a very dangerous opponent to take after having like a bad loss like he had. So, yeah, it, it's there's many ways of looking at this. But, you know, I personally, because they both carry, a, you know, massive power, Zhang can bang and stuff. And, you know, he's a good fighter. He's a good entertaining fighter with Zhili Zhang. So, you know, I'd be happy to see him and Wilder face off because... You'd favour one guy, but at the end of the day, Wilder, he does carry a good right hand. And if he gets his boxing together, if he if he takes things seriously and t takes Zhang as, a, as the serious threat that he is, um, you know, gets himself motivated, then, yeah, you've got to give him... He's got the type of power where you've got to give him a chance. You'd fancy him to get, you know, he get, he probably gets outboxed, but hey, he's he's got a chance. Um, but anyway, that's that's my thoughts on this. You know, I hope it does happen. I, I'd like to see that. Because one thing it will be, even if it is a mismatch in Zhang's favour, it will be exciting. It will be an exciting fight. Even if it ends by KO, which I predict it would, 
it would be very exciting to watch. Two big guys going at it, two big punchers going at it. But a good fight. I think it would be a good entertaining fight. Probably one sided if if conventional wisdom is, is right. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Um potentially we may get Deontay Wilder versus Gile Zhang or Zhang Gile, um Saudi Arabia on the undercard of Anthony Joshua versus Francis and Garner. So um, if we do get that, it's definitely shaping up to be an exciting card. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out.